up everybody this is marty mcfly on rewind that on today's show on the playback we're gonna find out did they really say that or no i've got the footage and i hold everyone accountable stay tuned hey welcome to marty's playhouse <laughs> you know i gotta choose the right music for the video so we're gonna hit the hot topic for the week hot topic is of course travel bros my man austin holloman it's mayhem in the streets <laughs> don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel oh and one last thing jamal's got a brand new trail out called the youtubian uh jamal i know you're a superstar but you're still my editor play that cash app video oh yeah we're getting more cash apps more subscribers more likes more comments this is all going towards the bottom line and uh jamal run that tape so the other day, I was on Mr. Fantastic 824 stream, and boy, did things get heated. I even got canceled. Want to see what happened? Let's go. Okay, like, you know, we, we just going off, like, indirectly, like, guys are saying stuff that would come off as you don't get women here. And you hear over and over again, so from a lot of guys in the, in the movement, and it ain't everybody, like, you know, because niggas been traveling forever, like, you know way before like the passport bros movement like really i think rappers really made it hot like pimping all over the world rappers talking about foreign chicks in their videos and shit because niggas was traveling to japan and all that like way before like any of this shit but uh but nah i mean i mean you know like that's going off what guys say like i, I was just saying like you know that's why i come off like niggas can't get no hold like i mean it just, i mean there's I, a lot of stuff. I, I, hold on hold on so all right cj let me let me walk with you real quick you know like a 20 hour flight you know spending like ten thousand dollars relocating you know and doing all that like it all depends like by the time you do all that you could invest it well for us here. it's worth yeah. it though in the sense like if you were to convince somebody like hey it's no different from here like if to leave like what it what what are the you know when they say like the pros outweigh the cons like what about american women particularly black women here would you say that okay there's a reason you shouldn't have to leave i mean you can pull like the statistics from like the government of like each of these countries and like you can compare and contrast and it's like it's a landslide when it comes to like black women versus like these other women so, just as far as like you, education you, huh no, no no go ahead finish no go ahead i'm not against the whole passport bro movement like i said if you go in there and just fuck, you're going to fuck. But what kind of sense does it make to go way overseas to get a piece of ass? When literally, you can pay for a piece of ass in America. My whole concept, my whole confusion with it is this. And Mr. Fantastic, you know you travel. You in the military like you in the military like I was. It's all the places you can go to to where, well, guess what you get? You get the hoes to give you the pussy, damn prostitutes. You'll get the hoes that are goddamn sit here. If you want to be honest, you go to goddamn Europe. They love black niggas. You can go there, you can get the pussy, and you can goddamn, you know what I'm saying? If you want to marry the bitch, you can marry the bitch. But my whole concept of the passport, bros, and stop me if I'm wrong, is that if you're going over there just to get a nut, you still paying for it, you paying for pussy. But uh, it, in America, and that's what, that's my question. Do you want? Like I said, everybody know that you go to certain places, you can get pussy easy, and then a lot of these places they going to, it's a lot of prostitution. So I'm with the whole kind of concept. Yeah, you know what? Hey, I'm traveling. I'm finna go somewhere. Hey, I'm obviously I'm gonna get a piece of pussy if it comes, but if I'm going to Columbia, <coughs> a lot of times right now, niggas is not going to Columbia and travel. Niggas is going to Columbia to get a piece of pussy. That's my big concept. That's my big thing. Is you going to Columbia to get a piece of pussy or you're going to there to travel? When I see these dudes talk about it, they're going to these places to get pussy. Uh, All right. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but niggas, go, niggas go to dumb destinations is because it's easy to get pussy and the just like niggas like they cause they like they bitches like it they like hard shit 
They like shit different. It's like they're not used to the shit. So, but when when they get to this is my only problem with it. I have no issue with that. Y'all cool with it. But when you try to compare it to the women you're trying to date in America, to prostitutes you're paying. Nigga, like I no, said, no, 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 no. Prostitute- Yeah, but you keep re- hold on, but you keep okay, reducing ahead, it to ahead, all ahead, you, you keep reducing it to like the majority or hundred percent of them being prostitutes though. Logic. You don't see the you don't see the, the problem in that? Like every dude that go there ain't I'm reducing them to prostitutes. No, you, you're, you're conflating two you're, arguments. Oh, yeah, you're reducing them to dealing with prostitutes only, or the majority of them dealing with prostitutes. If you so, if you had to go to any of those people, you paying for pussy, or you or you go be at a motherfucking get up on some pussy on your own? Okay, this is what it. I'm saying because you should know this better than any, with, just like me because we was in the military, right? Look, we coming in for two weeks, right? We slanging down, correct? Shit, I only got four days. Y'all the army niggas. I, get, I, yeah, I yeah, only got, so I only got four, four days. Four days, right? So that's even better. Coming in for four days, we slanging on. We get back on the plane, we going back to our life, right? Yeah. The next batch of niggas coming in doing what? Same shit. Same shit, right? So yeah. now, just like some bitches that constantly get rotated through, they're hoes. So when I'm saying, like when I'm saying, like whether you pay for it or not, like these are hoes, regardless. These niggas that's going over there, whether they paying for the puss or not, I guarantee you they taking them out. You know what I'm saying? These bitches probably going to restaurants that they never been to in their lives. You see what I'm saying? So now, and then niggas is really over there. I mean, you want to, look, I ain't going to even say it because y'all going to start a whole nother thing. But all they doing is leveraging an American dollar against these, these foreign country dollars. And they balling out for a weekend on these bitches. And it's no issue with there's no issue with that. To me, it's no issue with that. Keep go ahead. Talking your- about it though. God damn. No. And go ahead. Thank you. Bye. Hey, what's up? Uh fantastic. How's it going? No echo. I'm, I'm good, right? Yeah, yeah. Loud and clear. All right. Um, to the two fellas in the room, and maybe the female, I'm not sure. I'm I'm coming coming in time a little bit late, but um, is that CJ? Is he here? Yeah, CJ here. Okay, and the yeah, other right. one is called Logic yeah all right we'll put that to the test and the female what's her name q q okay Mm -hmm. i I really don't know your stance on it so i I can't leave you out of it for right now um what i'll say is this let's have a marty moment for a second um a lot of times you'll hear and i'm not here to disagree and argue with anybody i'm here to present the facts as they are so a lot of times we'll, we'll take side a shall we You'll hear uh, particularly older men, uh, such as on the panel, say things like, you guys are going over here to do this, and you're going over here to do that. The first question I ask those guys, and feel free to answer if, if you so choose, is where do you travel to? Is it stateside? Is it Jamaica? Is it, you know, where do you go where you have such a wealth of knowledge? Because if you're telling me your number one reason uh, for traveling is just to get uh, a plate of puss. That kind of shows me a bit of projection. It also shows me the extent of your circle. You know, a high value man has um, people around him that are also reflect that. So if you have people that travel around you and you're gaining this information based upon what your circle of friends are telling you, hey, I went over here to buy puss. And this is what you constantly hear. This reflects in that when you talk to other men. So now I understand if that is the case. If it's different, please explain. Number two, it's kind of what the females do. Because I understand their biological imperative is to say the resources are leaving. So I'm going to say and do whatever I have to do. I'm going to dehumanize to the lowest common denominator. And that's what the females do. So it's kind of like the two. So my, my question would be, and uh, CJ, I, I guess you can go first because I, I called you out first. Where do you travel to? And when you travel, um, do you share this thought that do you pay for the box? So therefore, vis-a-vis, you think any other guy that travels also pays for the box? I'm just asking questions. Nah, um, I mean, I travel like mostly within the country. Like I'm in Salt Lake. I'm at a ski resort right now in uh, Utah. But um, yeah, like I was I would just I'll just go off that. I go off what the travel bro say on here because this is the only place I hear this. Okay. So basically CJ, paying their, can I finish? 
Oh, I think you're finished. <laughs> so go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. Okay. Nah, go ahead. I'll just be real quick. Yeah, I'm basically just going off what the travel bros say. I mean, you know, if you look at, I mean, we know the names of the guys, you know, Austin. I mean, you hear them saying, oh, yeah, we paying for the box. I mean, who says know, that? Austin. And here's the sad truth. Um, when I asked CJ, where did he travel to? He's an interstate guy. He's an interstate boy. Um, and I find yeah, that a lot of people, yeah, I find, uh, let me finish, let me finish. <laughs> Do better. Do, I feel don't, don't a lot of people who have Do his better. such uh, views on travel, guys who actually take planes over water, um, they've never been anywhere. So that's why I asked him in the beginning, where have you been? And he's, he said, Florida, he's been to probably New York. When it comes, argument. when it comes to traveling overseas, this what guy has no experience. Argument. That's like me trying to tell somebody who lived in the ghetto like oh how it is living dodging bullets all day and i'm from the suburbs no you, you can see disagree what I'm saying? with something so like, without like i said like i said i'm not gonna you go into your wheelhouse can you stop talking when i'm talking because i didn't say anything you can i wait a long time i mean you am i really hurting your feelings am i hurting your feelings all right you go ahead go ahead i'll be quiet you go ahead i was just gonna say you can disagree with something without experiencing it well yeah both of y'all be quiet for a second read the super chat a black uh, black man's quality of life is all that matters to me it seems people have a problem with black men enjoying life f them all right go ahead cj yes so are you finished cj yeah that's you what wanna... i'm saying i say you can expect you can disagree without something without experiencing it yeah but the thing it's is you guys are not disagreeing you're talking from a position of knowledge which you do not have and that's I the do problem. Have knowledge. I said, hold I on a second. Snap. Hold on so a second. You, why you, why do you, why do you have excuse to me? I'm you, talking. You can you stop talking you when I'm talking? I let you, you speak. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Dudes man. like you, I asked you in the beginning, and this is on record. Where the hell have you been? You have not traveled over the water. So you do not have experience to tell anybody how to think or where they're doing overseas. Now, moving forward, stop talking when I'm talking, man. CJ, come on, man. Stop talking. You stop the cap, bro, because you said you didn't have your passport, bro. You ain't yeah. Yeah, you think, Stop talking when I'm talking, bro. Do you want to no, say no. something? I'll let you get it out. I have more respect for you than you have. Go ahead, speak. <clears throat> You Go ahead. Where did you travel, CJ? Though, like, come on. Where did you travel, CJ? All right. Or right, do you have back. anything else to say? Because I'm gone right now. Do you okay, want to say ahead, anything else? I'm gonna mute up. I'm gonna mute up. Go ahead. You got it. God. All right. So listen. This is what I'm saying. A lot of times, the bomb is this, and that's when Marty went nuclear. <laughs> a lot of people who have traveled. You notice a lot of people brag on, and I'm not talking about the general because he's clearly traveled. But a lot of guys are these ex-military guys who travel because of their job. The difference between me and you guys like that, I travel because I can afford to. It's a difference. So all you guys that said, oh, I've been in the military 20 years ago. Uh, I did this, I did that. You did that as a consequence of your job paying. Ooh. <laughs> Marty, you weren't supposed to tell the truth now. Go along to get along. <laughs> But listen, we're going to take off for where I left off. I was cut, by the way, by Mr. Fantastic. Shout out to him. No no hard feelings. But uh, I think there was a misunderstanding where I was going to land my plane. So I'm going to land it now. See, what I'm starting to notice is that a lot of expats or ex-military guys who traveled 20 years ago, they kind of call themselves the original travel bros. But the fact of the matter is you only were in positions to be in different countries because your job told you where to go, where to be. And you even heard Fantastic and Logic say, I was only there in this location for four days because you gotta be back on that boat, 0600, best believe that. So what kind of traveling are you really doing if you're going to Manila for four days? You can't really go anywhere. You can't really see the sights. So <laughs> you heard Logic say, You've been in the military with me. You know how it goes. See, what I'm trying to explain to you guys, a lot of these military guys are the original tricks. Heck, they even made movies about it. This is our first experience with other countries as guys going overseas in the military tricking. And that's confirmed by logic. He said, hey, you know how it was when we was overseas. Now, the thing is, these guys come back after retirement, never travel again because they can't afford it. That's why I made the point. So what they do, they get married, they get a fat wife, life sucks. And these are the main detractors for guys like me who actually spend my own money to go where I want, 
when I want and to stay exactly how long I want. They don't have the capability. So it comes off as jealousy. Hmm? And there has to be a distinction between guys who travel of consequence because your job says go here, go there. And guys like me who work hard to travel when and where we want. That's why our standards are different. See, I might go to China or Colombia and I'm not going to trick on women. I got a totally different path. I got a path that I paved on my own with my own money, not on the government tit. Huh? Now, I respect certain guys who travel after the fact. One MT. Hmm? This guy's not just rocking on the government's dime saying I'm a travel uh, bro or a traveler once he retires he's going to continue to do what he's always done and that's commendable but what you're not going to do as ex-military you're not going to front like you had a choice in destination oh no you were told to be here and to be back here by a certain time that's not traveling a consequence of your occupation what I do is totally different I go see where I want to go I make the choice and not all that is inconsequential I just find it funny I'm starting to notice a pattern of these ex-military guys who don't travel anymore they're such big travel bros but they haven't traveled in 20 years since they retired anything you don't do for 20 years guess what you're weak the muscles ain't working right. So you have no experience in the field anymore because the world looks different every five years as a turn turnover. Hmm? So again, shout out to Mr. Fantastic. Love being on the stream. I'll be on the next one. I don't catch feelings. I catch flights. And this has been a Marty moment. See you next time.